Got some more people walking up. Another guy just came up. Yeah, tell everybody. Tell everybody you know. I'm a. Hey, I've been standing up to all of everybody I can. <laughs> yeah, we it's out here. Yep, yeah, we out here. You know. Y'all gonna be out here all what's day. What's up? What's up? Uh, That's basically, we got some other stuff we got going on too. So, okay. basically, till everything get get done, get away. He's <laughs> here. People coming from all over. Like you just heard the, the man saying that, you know, been calling the steps, calling everybody, you know. Some free food and stuff, feeding the community. You got some free food and stuff over there, man. Oh, you. Yeah, go help yourself, man. What church are y'all with? Um, House of Prayer for All Nations, but we out here, our, our uh, outreach name is Team Jesus USA. We feed people, clothe them. Yeah, we up North Columbus. Good. A lot of people accepting it. Oh, so, yeah, it's free, you know. Right. <laughs> Why you not want to get something for free, you know? <laughs> yeah, we got some hot dog buns over there. We got a lot of stuff over there, man. That's good. It's interesting. I'm about to go free my visa weapon. God be working in a mysterious way, man, because I guess it's our time now. But I'm about to go read my, my Bible book. Uh -huh. You know that's what's happening. Yeah. These, this, I mean, this, that ain't stripped down over here. I mean, I regular Bible, but that's what I'm about to do, though. Yeah. You go over here, like I said, we got our pastors over there, apostles over there, so, you know, if you want to go talk, you know, break bread or whatever, you know, they over there. There's even just, there's no point of just walking by, like I said, God working in serious ways, you know, so. Yeah. And, and you know what? I think it's our time, man. Something's going on. God, God's making his, his, his moves and whatever, yep. the way the world is going. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'll see you later, man. All right, man. As you can see, a lot of people, they, they preach, but, you know, when when you step with real folks, on the, cats on the front line, you know, a lot of people run. You know, they talk this and they talk that, but when the truth comes, a lot of people are scared of the truth. A lot of people don't want to really change. They talk about it, but a lot of people don't, you know. So I just offered the guy, he told me he just got his Bible books, you know, and... Say, you know, we got pastors and stuff over there, you know, if you want to break bread, fellowship, you know, talk about what, what God is doing for you. And he kind of basically said, ah, you know, he didn't want it, you know, so.
That's Steven talking to the young gentleman right there. Let's give him a chat. People over there just came up. I just walked past. Got to get some free bread and stuff. Update up there. One of the passers coming up. His son. Got another guy up there. The wheelchair. Some free stuff. We ain't trying to go. We ain't trying to leave with nothing. I mean, we trying to leave, and everything is gone. And we out here still impacting. A lot of people get, get some free stuff, some free food, free drinks, getting the gospel, you know. Whatever it takes to reach the lost. There was a lady that was just out here, just saying that basically the stuff that we do, she was inspired. It basically provoked her. She said she's just tired, you know, tired of regular traditional church. She's just tired, and this is the stuff. Her heart is, is what we doing out here in the streets, reaching the lost at any cost. She just said she's basically tired and she want to loke up, just do some things with us. But you know, kingdom of heaven suffer violence, and the violence taken by force. So we just out here doing what, what we believe God has called us to do. She said her calling is, to, you know, being in the streets and preaching and stuff like that. So that's what we're here for, you know, to inspire even Christians, you know. A lot of Christians just sit up in these churches. It's not doing outreach. It's not, you know, not reaching the lost, not going outside the four walls and they, and they hurting. You know, a lot of people is hurting. And not, not only that, a lot of people inside the church is hurting. They're not getting a full experience of what God has called them to do, to go out and make disciples. You know, so... That's a testimony in itself that she just was inspired, just quickened in her spirit that it confirmed that this is what she's supposed to be doing. So we just thank and praise God for that. We got uh, Pastor Hines still over there, loading him up with some bread as he's about to give away some free bread too. So we got Pastor Hines out there in the sun. There's some other folks over here. We out here in front of Colonial Village Apartments, right there on Livingston Ave. This area is known for a lot of drugs. A lot of alcohol, a lot of gang violence. So we out here just impacting the community. Right in front of the old Isla Fleet Market. Family Dollar. Got a guy coming up right now. Let's see what he what he's talking about. What's up, man? That's some free food over there. Uh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. All right, man. Some other folks coming out. God is good. God is good. I just. It's just an honor and a blessing that God just trusted us, you know, with this with this stuff to give away, knowing that we're not going to sell it, we're not going to do this stuff, you know, but, you know, it's a definitely an honor and a blessing. We got some free food stuff over there. 
probably won't be here.